growing up, I was into street shit. Hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice. People always told me I wasn't gonna be shit. But I always knew that I and welcome back to another episode of Lit Podcast. You know how we do it, man. We bring the up-and-coming artists, the hottest mm -hmm. artists, and the legendary artists in the city. And today, you know what I'm saying, we got no other than Mrs. Wayne herself, Mrs. Gotti herself. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucking D.D. Warbucks in the goddamn building. How you doing? Chillin'. Don't give me too. Don't, don't, don't give me no contact. Oh, man, come on, man. So I ain't gonna give you no contact. You know what I'm saying? So we're here to honor you. You know what I'm saying? And, Talk about you know this legacy that you leaving right now, man. Cause I wanna say, man, you came in the game at the right time and you came in the game correct. You know what I'm talking about? So for the people who don't know you, please tell them who you are and where you're from. Hey DD War Books, you know what I mean? Hottest in Davis, you know, Queen of Davis. Straight out of Singing Hills, Texas. Singing Hills? Oh, mm -hmm. You rocking with the best, got it. You know what I'm talking about? So where it started from you, man? Like where where the music influence come from? Uh, I really didn't have no music influence. I really like growing up with my daddy. Like he used to like listen to a lot of old school music. Mm -hmm. So that was like where music came from. He would play in the car. We get to his house. It's gonna play while we sleep. You know what I'm saying? Right, so right, it's right. just I love music, mm -hmm. but I ain't think I'd be no rapper though. Hell no. So would you always want to be there? Hustle. Oh yeah. <laughs> Making some money, y'all. Right, right. I don't give damn if, if it was something else, but I ain't think I'd be no rapper though. Right, right. So what, what, what changed that mode until you become a rapper? My son. Right, yeah. right. And what was it? What was what was it that you saw in your son that made you say I gotta go rap? Cause I was too deep in the streets. Right, right, right. Like it, it, it just, it was just, you know, it was, it became too much trying to be a mom and hustle. Right. Cause, you know, she had a had attempted robbery, you know, right. been shot twice. So I just had to really kind of change and pick something to do. Right. So I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna have to rap. Cause I go to the studio sometime, but like I ain't really care about it. Uh -huh. Cause, it wasn't my passion. Right, right. I, I just, I just like to make money. I know you can make money on the shit, <laughs> but it became a passion right. throughout the journey. Right. Cause. Now I became a real passion. I seen your passion. Like, what was that? What was that feeling when you came in and you told your mama like, "Here go my phone. It's over with." You know what I'm saying? Uh, it really, it, it was like, it was shocking. Yeah. Because, like I said, like. If you would have told me I'd be a rapper like five years ago, I'd be like, hell no. You know what I mean? Right. But I just feel like I need to do something positive with myself because, you know, I can't keep writing him to the trail. Right. It's, right, just, right, right. it's yeah. just too deep, you know? So that'd be an inconsiderate self. You know, has me that got hit my son in there. It's right. just too much. So. It was, it, it, but then it became a reality because I started stepping into becoming a rapper. Like, I, I was really kind of just trying something. Right. Because, like I said, I was hustling hard, so. What was that song when you got in the studio that made you say, nah, I'm finna do it now. I'm really finna do it now. Uh, what's the song, <coughs> what I say? Um, uh, oh, I had made this song. It's on my, it's on, it's on, actually, it's on my cousin YouTube. I can't think of the name. It's called Ten Toes Down. Okay. And the song, like, uh, I'm gonna say, I made this song. Was Do the Boy yet? Was Be Me? Who's that? The Sky Man, my son ain't born yet. Cause I, like I said, I was, I go back, I go to the studio. Mm -hmm. If I didn't care about, so I wasn't making no money off of it. Right. But when I made this particular song, I was like. That's what made me kind of go back, like, hell no, nah, I, I actually got some. Right. And she, you know, for, for, you know, fast forward, it, um, I got a lot of different songs that actually made me kind of step into it, too. Right. But that particular song right there was like, it, it, it's, it's touching a little bit, because mm -hmm. it's from the heart, because I rap from the heart. Right. No, nah, no, nah, everything you did is everything from the heart. I can tell how you rap and how you spit, especially when I, I seen you grown and start now. You don't even write now. You uh -oh. know what I'm saying? What was that process like? Uh, 
just being in the studio every day because right. like you know how you got your sit up mm -hmm. i got my own sit up right, so right. that was that was but at first i used to write right i used to write in my phone i ain't never like wrote on no notebook or nothing i used to just write in my phone and uh it, I really kind of wanted because you know like when you write a song or something mm -hmm. and then you go record it it might be a couple weeks later a couple of days later but you're not even in that same mood no more right so I wanted all my songs to be like how I was feeling right then mm -hmm. okay yeah, so that's, that's really that's how that's the like, yeah, mm -hmm. the vibe yeah yeah cause you went off on um, what's what your was favorite that? song I ain't gonna lie to you I got, I got, I got a plethora, but that, but That's when you did, yeah, you. yeah, but I, I got a plethora. I can't just say one song, but that, but when you did, fucking uh, R.I.P. Nip. Oh yeah, that, I, I didn't write that. Yeah, I know you didn't write that. Yeah, one. <laughs> yeah that was right there. That R.I.P. Nip. I was yeah. like, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. And got it. You yeah. know what I'm saying. Got it was yeah. You know what I'm saying. Like, yeah, I love got it. <laughs> got it. Got it was like, ooh, that was really a mood I was in, cause like I feel like. He was playing with my mood. Right, 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 right. Cause I, cause I, I already knew like what I was doing and haven't been done. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like she tell that is go put me top three. I'm talking about <laughs> niggas too. <laughs> nah, for real, fact, fact. We can, we gonna talk about. It. I want to talk about. It. What was your mind? But frame shout out that is go. Oh yeah, yeah. Me yeah. Like yeah. Shout out that is go. But like for sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Uh. Let's talk about how, what was your mind frame at when you started to make a monopoly out of Diddy Warbucks? Because I said you what got you the store, oh, you got I'm the studio, listening. you listening. got the videos, you do everything you do is your it's own. It's in here. Because yeah. I'm a brand. Right. I got my clothes on. Mm -hmm. So, like, I don't want nobody brand on my shit. Right. And it's not nothing personal. Right. It's just, when you a boss, like, that's how you gonna move. Right. And I'm 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 a real boss. No, 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 I'm nah. not like a not a play boss. At all. Nah, I see now nah, I see you over there. So like what was like what was the first step out of your monopoly? Was it the store, the studio, or what? Uh out of the war books? Uh -huh. Well she I had you talking about just me as an entrepreneur. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, nah, hell no, nah, when I was nineteen I had a lung service, I had a bounce on the Okay. Hell yeah, yeah, then uh the old I got uh, I had got before my son was born. I had got a, I had a, I, I, I got a cleaning business too. Mm. I got a cleaning business that I still run up on the now with my trucking business. Oh, okay. And okay. then with my son, when I fell off and had my little boy in 2016, I got a beauty shop. Mm. Still got to see Nugget Bill. Mm. And then when I started rapping, I had put the the studio in the trap. Mm. So I had like set up with your shit nice, but there was some ghetto shit. Right, right. And she. When I something had happened to that house in Sinking Hills, and I had to move out the house, but like a month later, that's how I got the Warbucks headquarters. Mm -hmm. And when I got the Warbucks headquarters, I was still filming with other videographers, like IK, shout out IK. I was still filming with other videographers, but you know, that's my boy, you know, no disrespect, but I didn't want nobody's stuff coming on my stuff. I right. ain't like that. Right. So I had started fucking with these videographers. Uh -huh. That's how we got World Buzz Films. Okay. And then when I stopped messing with them videographers, not nothing like that. But I had started like doing stuff my own self. I don't like waiting on people. Right. I, I want if I want to shoot, I want to shoot. Right. I want to record, I want to record. And she, when I uh got, I went about everything, the cameras and shit. Right. Badass cameras and lights, man lights, spun. Shit, about three, four thousand just on that, yeah. just lights, cameras, and, and lenses, and that's how we had Warbucks film. And then Warbucks film turned into, uh, we redid the studio to let people come in. That's how I started doing the, the six. Okay. okay. And then it was just like a line. It was just follow suit. Yeah, follow suit. And then I had opened my doors to people to come and record in my studio and shoot videos. And then I was, you, you could see other people video with Warbucks films on the front of. So it was just like I'm, 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 I'm a, I'm a, I think. Right, right, right. I'm right. a, I think. Anybody. Yeah, you, 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 you're doing it right. You're supposed to put your name and stamp it for yeah. everybody to see it. So like, what was, what was the process of you getting on this road? You know what I'm saying? What was your whole uh, intentions? Man, so when I that that was like a moment in my career that it'll never happen in history. Right. Because like I said, you know, if you watch the documentary, which I know you did, yeah. like my mama she was diagnosed with breast cancer. So when she was taking chemotherapy, that was like. I was channeling my pain into the passion of the music. Mm -hmm. So instead of thinking about that, 
I was just like, I'm finna go here, I'm finna go here, I'm finna. so I don't gotta think about this shit. Right. Cause there was like a real moment in my life, you know what I mean? Right, not for you real. know, just watching this stuff and you, you see your mom what she do to her. And yeah. then I, I went to a couple sessions and I got to drive her home cause she's sleepy. Mm -hmm. So it, that, that was that moment in my career. So people didn't understand what, how the drive was so like that, right. but the whole time I'm going through something. Right. That's why I said it never happened again. And I don't even really go that hard because right. shit, I was tired. Shit. <laughs> that shit hard work. I made it look easy, but yeah. I, mean, I had people hitting me up like, man, I try to do that shit. I went one place and I couldn't, how, what made you do it? I'm like, shit, that's what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it ended up becoming more than just about music mm -hmm. it was it was really a moment in my life right. that it won't happen again because she beat cancer right and, you know, shout she, out yeah shout out to the women that beat cancer she, everybody she, <laughs> it it kind of it kind of it was it was really making me be uh how can i put it like she started making me become a, a, a inspiration to people right but i wasn't trying to be no i wasn't trying to inspire she just started happening. People like hit me up, like, man, you inspire me. I'm like, damn, what the fuck? Yeah, you <laughs> never know what you're doing when you're moving around. You yeah. never know who you touch, you know. Yeah, but that's know. where it came from. Like, right. And before you know it, shit, we took a flight to Kelly. And she, but we still do that shit to this day. I just don't put it all on my page right, right there. Right, who, who have you, uh, who all have you worked with? Uh, as far as like doing music with? A few people, but like, I like, I really be so focused on me. Right, right. It's, it's, it's nothing personal. Like right. I fuck, with, I fuck with everybody. That's why I'm right here talking right, to you. Right. But I, I have a structure of how I do stuff. Correct. You know what I'm saying? And and it's not that I don't want to work with artists, but I'm focused on DD Wubble. Right. I was always focused on building my brand, making my brand solid. Right. So it will. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like let me go do a song. I didn't want to do that. Right. Not not like I thought I was too good, but. She like I put my all in this, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So people wouldn't understand right. my vision, but it ain't for them to understand. Nah, not facts. Nah, so if you did have a chance to do a song with anybody, who would you do a song with? In the city? Nah, in period. They ain't about just the city, period. just period. What the fuck? I don't know. You don't know? Everybody. <laughs> she, especially like Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne, now Jay -Z. <laughs> talk about it. But then if we come local. Uh huh. I do a song with Freddie. Oh, really? Yeah, shout out, shout out TB. You know what I'm talking about? I do a song with Freddie. Yeah, yeah. Cause, I don't know. And it's, it's a, like Lil Ronnie. Which uh, Lil Ronnie? Motherfucker? Yeah. Okay, all right. I, Cause he created, cause yeah. like I heard he recorded himself too. Yeah. Uh, uh, a girl, it'd be that enchanting girl. Enchanting, yeah, she hot right now. Yeah, and I fuck with Boo Gotti Casino too. Like he be he he reach out to me. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's a lot of artists. I don't want to lead nobody. Nah, you ain't gotta name everybody. Yeah. Just pick pick a few. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you can change the hand of time and go back and change anything you want to change. Nothing. Would you? Nothing. Yeah, right. nah, I want to do shit though. Mm -hmm. I do it the same way. Right. Same way. So that's, like that's that's what separated me. Right. Yeah. Nah, that's facts. That's facts. Like so. Who's been in your corner? Who's been like really been there, really rooting for you? You know what I'm saying? Stand down with you ten toes. My fiance. Oh, uh, really? And me. Yeah. In my grind. Yeah. In the way I believe in myself. Yeah. And of course, my yeah. little boy. Yeah, he's talking about me. You he raised his hand. He like got his hand over. I think he's up. Like, me too. He don't care about the woman. Right. He, nah. he hate when he miss a photo shoot. Right. He hate when he miss a video. But like, this how he know. Like I right. said, I, you know, I start rapping because right. I built a piece of my story. So, like, where do you see yourself in the next couple of years? She the biggest. Yeah, the biggest, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like I ain't put all this work for nothing. <coughs> like you came to race it. Right. What do you want out of it? Like, like, I like, they, like, like, yeah, out of it. Like, I always ask a lot of artists. You know it's what I'm it. saying? Like, do you want, do you look for somebody to sign you? I want you a talking? name. Yeah, just a name. Uh-uh, because you, you, I can sign with anybody, but you, you can't nobody take my name. Right. Like can't nobody like like I said you, you can't you can't erase what I did. Right. So it's not really about being signed because we already moving like a label. Mm -hmm. Uh it's not about the money because I always had money before rap. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I don't I don't do it for money. 
you know, she, I got businesses. Right. So, you know, I do that for my son and my, my baby that's on the way. So it's, 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 it's not about how people might view it. Mm. But I know, I do know you get paid off your name. Facts, facts. So what producers you work with? Uh, in the city. Period. Because y'all uh, got some five tracks. Monster, blame it on Monster. Yeah, blame it on Monster. Uh, Shout out Monster. Mozart, Meezy. Measy really. Measy uh, a bad boy. I say that boy. Measy. Shout that's out really Measy. It. But that's really it, like as far as in the city, cause like I worked with Monster for so long. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? Oh, I fuck with keys and bugs. Okay, I got a few tricks with them, yeah. Mm -hmm. But with Monster, well, really, Monster, Mo, okay, Monster, he was the first producer to, like, come put up on. He's, he's come to, to the trap house. Right. The block, and we'd be in there cooking. I was still in the street. Yeah. And he, he seen something in me that I ain't see in me, or people, the other producers I work with seen in me. You know right. what I'm saying? And then after him, it was Monster. I worked with Monster for, like, two years. Right. Like everything, if you go play this shit, say blame it on Monster. Not purposely, but mm -hmm. that was just the relationship that we built. Because right. it turned from me leasing beats to he just, I wake up, I got a flood of beats. Because he started fucking with me as a person. Right. And it got deeper than just the music. Like he, he started just believing in me too. Right. And then I say probably about like last year is when I uh kind of branched out and started working with other producers. Okay. But like I'm loyal. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Like, oh, you know, it, it's just who I am. But I want, I want like some, you know, 808 Mafia, London on the track. Like that's like next year. Right, right. Like I want to. Got goals. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I want to just go on. You know what I mean? Cash out on one of them beats so I can go take out like I need to. Nah, for real, for real. So, what is the process of you shooting your videos? Because I'm seeing you getting fire trucks. What's the, of, I don't, man, my. Like, how you get the fire truck? Man, I got the fire truck because I don't give up. <laughs> like, telling me no is the stupidest shit ever. Yeah. So, uh,. I had, I had, uh, when I had shot, when I had recorded Wayne, I don't even know, like, I, I don't stop thinking. Like, right now, I'm, I'm over here thinking about what, I, what I'm finna do in December. Right. I ain't bullshit. Like, that's how I'm able to stay here, cause right. I, I think 10 steps here. Right. So, it was, that's, that's how I pursue the music, too. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, if I say I'ma do something, I just gotta do it, cause that's just how I feel to myself. Like, I, if I say I'm finna go get a Bentley, red Bentley with red seats, and I'm finna drive this bitch downtown with top drop, that's what I'm finna go do. So, the fire truck, I had end up, um, uh, man, I had end up Googling something. I don't know how the fuck I found that fire truck, but I found that motherfucker. Then I had told, I had called my homeboy, I was like, man, I'm finna get a fire truck. And he, and I pulled up in the fire truck. And she, I knew I wanted to kind of recreate the Wayne video. The block, I mean, uh, which one? Uh, uh what's the what's the Wayne video about? Like? Fireman. Uh, uh, fireman. Okay, mm -hmm. fireman. Okay, fireman. Okay. Fireman. Okay. Yeah, All right. like if you look at, it, I recreate the whole. Video. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the process, it just be, um, I just like that I do myself. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you remember when I shut the freeway down? Yeah, I, yeah. So, like, I've been really I, trying to I was going to ask you that, too. I was like, because like, I know you didn't get permission. Hell no. Nah, no, because I seen, I seen one, I think somebody, I think it was your sister or somebody was recording when you just stopped and got out the car. She wasn't even nerd. That was who crazy. Was that? Uh, <laughs> who, who recorded? That was the videographer. Oh, that, oh okay, okay. Hell okay. yeah. Like, okay. I, I, had, I had told him. Well, I had t this, this was before we had Woolbus film. Right. I had told Elijah, I was like, bro, I, I'm finna shut the freeway down. He he ain't wanna do it. I'm like, man. I said, well, give me your camera. And she let me shoot this shit. Because I would have somebody on my team just get the footage of us shutting down the freeway. And then he had, uh, mm -hmm. he had ended up, uh, having somebody else shoot that scene. Mm. And I still fuck with him to this day. He had a, uh, he, but he, he didn't want to do it because he was like, he offended. I'm like, share everybody with me offended, nigga. Come on, we finna do this shit. And, and, and he was, he was just like, man, Diddy, I 
I fuck with you, but I wasn't finna let that stop me. Even if he wasn't gonna do it, mm-hmm. I was gonna get somebody camera and get that and give it to him. Right. Nah, nah, that was a dope visual, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't don't nobody, know where that shit came Ain't too many people in this city. I don't think nobody went down nobody and then dropped in and stopped traffic. Yeah, no. <laughs> and shot a video even, on the even spot. In, even in the rap game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who you seen do that shit? Not many shit. See, I, I had got it from Nipsey, though. But see, they ain't do it how I did. Right. Like, they kind of like, people still going by. Right. I st- like, you couldn't go around. Mm-hmm. I had everybody with me block out each lane. And then what was so crazy? We was in the Rillers too. We was in the we was in the Rolls Royce in the Bentley, the Bentley Coupe. And um, I had my homeboys too, cause you know niggas they they gonna vote vote go up more than mm. females. So I had them. I I told before he left the studio, I was like, when y'all see me slow down, just everybody start spreading up, cause mm. I ain't know who's gonna pull that shit out. Right, right. Man, we pulled that shit off. I I jumped out. I jumped out the race. I told the videographer, I said, come on. I got behind the scenes and shit. I'm like, come on. He jumped out the back. We was in the truck, too. He jumped out the back of the truck. We were getting footage on the way there. He jumped out the back of the truck. And she, I said, come on. We, we got 30 seconds. Because we weren't even out there that long. We got there about 45 seconds. But we got enough. You got enough. Yeah, got you know enough. what I'm saying? You got enough. So, like, how many albums you think you got right now? I don't drop albums. What, them singles? I just got like EPs, like I, EPs. yeah, like I ain't, I don't, albums is, to me, albums mm. is for like when you with a label and shit, you know what I'm saying, like, why are you dropping albums? Right, right. Like you an up and coming artist, so uh-huh. you can't get nobody 18 songs, they not finna listen to that shit. Oh, hell nah, shit the most girl songs girl I, You see what I'm saying? The most songs I ever dropped was uh on the last project that I just dropped, other uh, now I be dropping like five songs, cause... Right. You know, like, I'm not finna bore you. Right, right. Like, that's just, that's basically saying, listen to me. What was your highest project then? She everything. Nah, to you. Everything. Cause I know, man, you were feeling that way. Everything, that's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't, every, every song be a mood, so. Right, mm mm-hmm. She everything. Already. So, like, if you, like, you got any advice that you would give anybody that's trying to travel in your shoes, what would you give them? Fuck everybody. Right. Don't let nobody stop you. If no is yes, yeah. Uh, if you believe in it, go for it. Uh, when they damn you, smile. When they sleep, smile. Nah, for real. When when they ain't paying no attention, smile. And she that that was that was that was fuel to me. That was that was that was fuel to me. Now what could these people expect? From DD Warbucks, man. Any concerts you throwing, you know what I'm saying? Cause I know you do your, you throw your own shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? You don't that, do no that, that, that's, that's, I don't do shows. Right. Uh, I got a, I got the Warbucks show next year. Okay. That's what I've been working for. Is that everything leads up to that? You right. know what I'm saying? So like, I feel like I've worked that hard to, I can sell me some tickets, and and they gonna respect it and buy them home. Nah, facts, facts. And you got white boys out there that you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, people love me. Yeah. Yeah, because, like, they seen how far I came and how I started it to, you know, to even keep going, like, the consistency. Like, a lot of artists are inconsistent. And that's just, that's not being, feeling like I'm above. But, like, I knew coming to this shit, like, it, it, it take dedication, hard work, consistency. Uh, uh, drive. You know what I'm saying? Believing in yourself, like, like, like. It, you, you know how how much I had to believe in myself to 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 do this shit. A lot. Uh, more a, than a lot. Not a lot, cause you sacrifice. Man, I used to make twenty. Man, I used to man, I used to make money. Like, I was hood. Nah, talk about it. You know what I'm saying? So nah. like, <laughs> I, I went from like that to just making right. music or just then my businesses. You know what I'm saying? Rotate paper for me, but she, I was having money, like real money, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I sacrifice a lot, and that's why I move how I move. That's why I do how I want to do it. That's why, that's why when you see me, you can't compare, because it's not just a bad rap. Like I said, my mom was going through what she was going through. My son, she, every, everything, it transpired for the next, like, going harder cause I had another baby on the way so it's not just about like at, at, at this point 
I don't even got nothing to prove to myself. Right. No, 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 that's facts. You got and you feel like you you at the point where you want to be now you can keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, that's what's Never up. stop, keep going. Nah, I ask these people out this question all the time. You know okay. what I'm saying? Before I get to the floor, the floor is yours. You can say whatever you want to say. But if you was in my shoes, okay. what question would you ask yourself that I didn't ask you? Who, who, who you want to get a shout out to? Okay. Who you want to get a shout out to? Myself. All right. <laughs> nah, square business. Nah, square business. Yeah, myself. Nah, you deserve to pat your damn self on the back because I'm going to say you did a damn good job for less than, what, three years? Yeah, see, really in the beginning, I wasn't rap. <coughs> you know? In the beginning, mm -hmm. it was just marketing. Right. So, like, I really say I've been doing the music for like a year and a half. Really, like a year consistently. Mm -hmm. But in the beginning, it was just marketing, right. and, and like, like, I, like I got a song with me. It's called "This Four, and it, and it's like, you know, who would thought we'd make it this far? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like I've been through a lot before the rap. You right. know what I mean? Like I'm talking about, cars got shot up, nothing hit me. You know what I'm saying? Attempted robberies, like gauges in my face, and I'm staring down a barrel. It, like I'm not supposed to be this for nah, let man. alone in the rap, you know, like like cause when I came in like wasn't nobody paying me attention. And like cause of my approach. Mm -hmm. Like who the put this what the fuck? She writing on sign, she like why she doing it? But I knew I, I knew I knew I wasn't gonna let nothing stop me. Right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, I like to give a shout out to myself. Nah, for real. Well, because, because, like, it, she, this ain't never been done. Right, it ain't like then you, you to, made it your own documentary. That, that too, <laughs> but it's, it's just like, you gotta think about it, like, 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 my whole, my whole, um, approach is, is different. Right. What, what, what made you feel like, okay, okay, I'm gonna make my own documentary for like it was it's time to make a, doc, a documentary? Uh, because I knew I'd be right here. Mm -hmm. And so for the people that seen me right now, they had to see what I endured uh, and everything I've been through and, and everything that I was doing to get right here. Because right. I got people that follow me. Thank you. Give me a little food. On my phone. On your phone. Like I got, I got, I got people that follow me right. They don't know. They don't, they don't know that Diddy going, like, I was going to schools, you know what I'm saying, traveling. It be three, four in the morning, I'm putting out sign. My little boy, he like one in the back seat sleep. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it, the, the documentary is to, is to show, like, what got me here. I, and I knew I'd be right here. Mm -hmm. So that's that's really what the documentary was about. And then I got one that I did in 2018. I don't know if you've seen it. Yeah, with the first one. That was, was the first one. one with the mama on the council on her. Uh-uh. No, 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 you gave her the phone, my that's bad. That's when I gave her yeah, the phone, phone. my that's, bad. That was the start yeah. of the right. War book. Fact, fact. And, 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 like, that that documentary, that needed to come out. Because, like, because, because, you can go back. One thing about content that's key. Mm -hmm. You can go back and watch that shit. Look at the dates, and then you fast forward. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, 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 like. If 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 I was a clout chasing and making beef songs, I'd be number one in the city. Mm -hmm. But I don't do that shit. So you know they try to overlook. They try to like. You know what I mean? Right, right. It, but she, I'm, I'm the hottest female in the city. I'm really the hottest artist in the city. I ain't trying to hear none of this shit. And you heard that first. You know what I'm saying? Right. And y'all heard that first. Yeah. Well, so I'm gonna let you have the flow first. Let me say shout mm -hmm. out to my sponsors. You know what I'm saying? It's CBD for life. You know what I'm saying? Y'all make sure y'all come check out the TAC pins. You know what I'm saying? CBD. We got the CHP. You know what I'm saying? We got the train red. You know what I'm saying? We got the motherfucking cat piss over here. We got the northern lights. You know what I'm saying? I got OG Kush. All type of other kind of friends over there. Y'all make sure y'all tune in there. You know what I'm saying? Y'all make sure y'all check out Soul Man too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and the flow is yours before we get out of here. Oh shit, I ain't got nothing to say. Yeah, shit, shit, shout out to me. Yeah, shout out to me, you know what I'm saying? All right, <laughs> man, I appreciate you, you know what I'm saying, coming out here to live pad play the podcast with me. You know what I'm saying? I got to have you back because there's more to come. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to everybody tuning in, and we about this motherfucking biatch.
Hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice. People always told me I wasn't gonna be shit. But I always knew that I would be.